Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terra Genesis, our random planet playthrough episode five with the series. You'll see our planet's looking a little bit different. And if we take a look at these settings currently, temperature's still going down, but we're getting a little bit closer. Pressure, though, currently right where we want it. Uh, actually, could be a little bit lower to hit our goal, but we're right about there, so we're going to mess with that. Temperature's going up currently. Water is actually going up plus one. That's mainly because of global cooling because we're bringing the temperature down. So we've got a little bit of water and we can actually see that on the planet as well where water starting to form. But yeah, we've actually got ourselves in a uh, atmosphere now, which is nice. And we actually did get some credits for that uh, as part of a goal. And we reached population 450, which also got us a culture point. We're going to go ahead and spend that now towards independence. I believe that now puts us at 10%. So uh, 500 population is the next amount. And uh, now we've got a couple of things we need to do. The first thing being that we need to stop pressure from growing. So if we head into population and we go right to colony called pressure, we can take the Atmon, uh, Atmogen suite and just shut it off completely. That will stop that growth there. And if we head to founders, we've got the thermal dust and we will disable that as well and now if we jump into here you'll see that there is no longer any pressure going up so we're right where we want to be if we want to lower this we could build a building that lowers it by four until we get closer to the hundred thousand mark i may do that for now i'm not going to worry about it but we also need to worry about oxygen so now taking a look at research let's see real quick i don't even know if i remember what we were researching it's been a little bit so we have the Atmogen Suite. So we don't even have an oxygen plant yet. So we're going to want to research that. I'll probably just go ahead and rush that right now. We'll just hurry it up. Because I've got some Genesis points. I've been watching uh, ads and such to earn them here and there as I play a little bit off camera. And then we got the plus there. And we're going to go ahead and get the silver, um, palladium, and the rhodium all at once. Because these are all going to be pretty beneficial to us. It did cost us a lot to do that. But you'll see why that's going to be important in the future. And then we're going to need one more thing that we can have researching whilst I'm building the oxygen plant. And I think what we're going to want to go for is probably uh, the transit network so we can hurry up and get to spaceport. That's how we're going to be able to build things in space that are going to help us out. So let's start that research. Next thing we'll want to do is found a new city for 10 million credits and this is going to be our oxygen city so we'll go ahead and put that at an elevation that makes sense i'm thinking probably right down here if we can all right 13 kilometers should be fine so we'll call this oxygen and build that and for here we're going to go ahead and we'll build ourselves another hab unit and then we will construct uh, an oxygen plant here to help us out. And we'll set this up to be upgraded. So there we go. We're all ready to start getting oxygen in our nice little pressurized world. Now, like I said, if we wanted to start reducing pressure so we can get it closer to the 100,000 mark, we could do that. Uh, to do it, we would need a building called a sequestration plant. I don't have it. I probably could have researched it, but we'll just let the transit network go through and we'll get this at some point. But I will want to pick up the sequestration plant, try to go for the perfect planet if we can. I also got another uh, culture point because we got population 550. So we'll just go ahead. Let's see. Okay, we won't be able to do that because on expert mode, but this is a good chance for me to show you. So if you play on expert mode, you can only spend a culture point every two hours, so no big deal. We'll have to wait for two hours to be able to spend that, so next time we can do that. A local subsidiary of the Horizon Corporation and Founders has produced a new product that has gone viral. We're seeing significant growth in the local economy, and our revenue projections are increasing daily. Oh. All right, so revenue increasing daily and Founders. The Great Holographer is probably what it is, right? Let's see, successful Horizon subsidiaries, purchase company... I'm going to say that's definitely it. So we're producing a pretty good amount of credits, but we could do better with that. 
And now that we've got uh, all of those resources mined, we or research, we might as well go ahead and take a look and see if we can build any mines for them. So let's take a look at silver first, just to see. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of room here because we've already got these outposts and you can't build them too close to each other. Polydium. Doesn't look like there's anything that's like astounding. Rhodium is where you make a lot of money. And if you can get rhodium up in even just the middle, it can be a money producer, but it's very rare. You can see that there doesn't really seem to be any rhodium here. At least not any large amounts of it. So back to silver, there was some silver, I think. But nothing too much, uh, that's pretty decent. Yeah, we can make that work. So it's 600,000. But we're getting almost 25, uh, little, or we're getting a little over 2,500 for that. So that's, that's a lot. And you can see how, as you can get these other things, they start being more and more valuable. So let's take a look here and see now what we've got. A lot of these still are not done, but we could take a look at these silver. Actually, all these are on the outside, which is nice. Now, the reason if I find good silver, the reason I don't build it just yet is because if there's a rhodium deposit nearby, I won't be able to build it until after the silver is all mined out. So I like to uh, just kind of search and then work my way up. And then I'll work my way down. Ooh, that's really good. Wow, okay, so I'm going to want to remember that. Because we're definitely going to build that unless there's some rhodium there, which there probably is not. They're a good testament to how rare rhodium is. Now you can build rhodium in areas like this and still make a decent amount of money. It's just, if you get rhodium in like a high deposit, a, a deposit of it, it's just unbelievably valuable. All right, so that palladium was really good. So let me show you guys how well a rich resource like palladium can do if you find a source that's even just mildly in the middle. So that's a pretty good spot. It costs a million to build. We'll go ahead and build it. And it's gonna get us over 5,000. Now obviously if we watch an ad and we get the 100% or 200% increase in mining, it's only gonna make us that much richer. So both of these are good. I could build another outpost if I wanted to, uh, but I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. But let me go here and produce another um, plus four oxygen plant because I know we're going to need it. So we'll start getting those going down as well. I'm going to want to found a new city at some point, but I'm going to wait till I get more credits to do that. So aside from everything else, it looks like we're uh, out of stuff to do. So we'll just have to wait. Temperature though is still decreasing with that coolant plant, which is nice. Um, I'm, I could upgrade that to minus eight. But I think I'm pretty happy with it. Everything else is looking good. Oxygen will be going up plus eight, but it'll be a long ways before it gets up there. Pressure is perfectly good to go. Once we get the sequestration plant, we'll maybe try to get this just a little bit closer to the 100,000. And because the temperature is going down with global cooling, water's just going to naturally go up. Um, I'll let that keep doing its thing and we'll kind of reassess that. Um, so I actually won't lower the temperature. Once we get down closer to 287,000, we'll see what this ends up doing. We'll kind of take it from there. And then you can see we're making pretty good money now, 52,000. But uh, you can see stuff starting to cost us more money as well. And that'll kind of be the general gist of everything, especially once we start building hab domes and such. It can get pretty pricey. So you kind of see all of that as we un uh, advance forward and as it unfolds. Eventually, hopefully get in the spaceport too. But with that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.